We're going to start this off. We're going to do a little section. We're going to do today a little lamb chops. It's a shoulder cut, but we're going to cook it as a steak. You can do it outside on a grill, which is a great way to do it. But one of my favorite ways to do it is in a, a, a pan here, French style. We're going to pan sear it. We're going to do a little bit of butter. We're going to add a little bit of bourbon to it, and we're going to do a arose. But to get started, we're going to do our bacon jam. Fresh Texas peaches. Got some great Texas onions right here. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of pepper. We got a little grain mustard, a little brown sugar, a little port wine. What we're gonna do is start with our bacon, guys. This is what I wanna hear. There we go. We're gonna let this get crispy. It takes about 10 minutes. Welcome to the Ugly Kitchen. This is my Ugly Kitchen within our restaurant. This is my little private test kitchen. My little thing where I do the specialties. If uh, I'm doing something special for a client, I'll do my cooking back in here. I'm really... Okay, we discarded our bacon, y'all. Saved a little bit of bacon fat. We rendered off that bacon fat. I saved some of it over here. We got the bacon cooked up. We want it nice and crispy. Put that back over our meat. Now we got some onions in here. So look at those. We'll let those do those nice sweet Texas onions. Okay, guys, see how the bottom of the pan had the bacon scraps? That's the beauty of doing these onions because what they do is they help clean up and deglaze. I call it deglazing the pan, but getting the bits off. But that's all flavor down there, and that's great flavor. Talk about deglazing the pan with wine. This is kind of what we're going to do when we add the bourbon, the port wine. Okay, we're going to add my favorite part, the chopped peaches. They call them to be diced. I like them. Um, I don't want a big uniform piece as you can if you're more technical. I like them just, you can blend them, you can chop them. So now we're going to add a little bit of pepper. My favorite part here. We'll use up a little whole grain mustard. There's about a couple of tablespoons. Always leave a little extra just in case it doesn't have the right bite. A little brown sugar with sweet tooth. We're gonna add a little Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And then we're gonna add our bourbon. And bourbon's good for you. And port wine. Some people will use apple cider vinegar. Let's get this going now, bring it up to a nice little simmer. All right, got this bringing up to a simmer now, so I'm gonna reduce the heat on it. Now I add my bacon back into this. And we're gonna let this reduce down 30 minutes. We got a hot pan here. We're gonna put a little grapeseed oil in here. I like grapeseed that part of flavor. It's got high heat temp. So this, so this is just nice and crusted. We'll let that go, guys. We're gonna do about four, three or four minutes aside. Flip it to the size and we're going to butter baste it tonight. Don't worry about that crust. Can we turn the temperature down a little bit now because you've got plenty of heat in this cast iron? This is a French cast iron pan, it's so my Maviel. So it has a nice little heat on it. But what you want to use these Maviels. It's a good one. You use a thick cast iron. Use a regular skillet, but I like this. So this is one thing about 15 minutes, and by the time this finishes simmering down, if there's a little bit more juice in here, then you might go ahead and let it reduce further. It's okay. This needs to rest too when we're finished. You gotta do the sides of this. So now we're gonna add a little bit of butter. I'm gonna let this go. Pull off pan here a little bit, let it butter up. You can add some aromatics to this if you want. All I'm going to do is let the butter come down. I'm going to start sauteing this down with a little bit of butter. It's a French style called Arose, and all we're doing is imparting a little fat and flavor into this. Don't worry about it. You think it's going to have a burnt taste or burnt butter. You turn your burner down. Like the last minute when you're doing the size, turn that way down to a low. So it just makes that, see this butter is still nice and beautiful. It's going to scrape some. So we've got a little bit further here. Look at this side. Can't leave this side out. We need some more up too. So we're going to do this. Do a nice little, do this for a couple of minutes. And what we want to do is just keep butter basting it. And this is just adding flavor. It's also helping to cook up a little bit, but you know, if, if you're using a cast iron pan, it's a little too heavy, you can move it to a skillet, but make sure it's a little bit cooler, uh, but pre warmed a little bit. So, we're just gonna let this thing kind of set now. So, I'm gonna take it, slide it over here, 
for my parchment paper. Bring this back up here. So it's still cooking. And see, look at this. It's just going to have a nice little jam to it. So what we did here is look at our bacon jam. So you know, it's not real pretty. So what we're doing is we're adding a little bit more chopped peaches to give a little texture here at the end. You can do what consistency you like. I won't let this go just a little bit longer, but I want the bigger chunks. So in about five minutes, we're gonna plate this up for you, okay? This is it. This is your marmalade. 